This is a Reddit post and I'm asking Google Bard to summarize it for me. Summarize this picture. It does a tremendously good job in summarizing thanks to the new update from Google, which does OCR, Google Lens and also multilingual translation with text to speech. I'm not kidding. Google surprised me with the latest Google Bard update. It supports OCR, you can upload file and it has TTS, text to speech, not just English. It works in a lot of languages, including my language, Tamil. For example, I asked Google bot to write a sing a poem for me in Tamil. And this is what it has written. And listen to it. Like if you, if you understand the language. In Thai Mori Tamil, Adi Paramayana Mori, Adil Nereya Kadai Gal Ullana, Idi Yen Parampariyam, Yen Thai Mori Tamil, Adi. I have never, never heard a TTS system, text to speech system that doesn't sound robotic when it is not an English language. I mean, for English, you have really good systems that do not sound robotic, but for languages like mine, I've, I've always heard systems that talk completely robotic. And this is not one of that. I am super impressed with every single update that Google has done here. What are the updates start with? It has, it is available in new places. It's available in new languages. That's a good thing. So 40 new languages, Arabic, Chinese, German, Hindi, Spanish, and more. And it is expanded to 27 new countries, including European Union and Brazil. And um, you have got more languages. It supports Google Lens and it can read out the responses. You can pin the conversation and you can export it and you can modify the responses. Like you can also modify the responses to make it short and you can export the Python code to repel it. We are not going to check the code aspect. But we're going to see how does it do generally. For example, you have got a message. Like for example, I can go say, hey, um, help me create a motivational LinkedIn post. This is a simple message that I'm sending. And uh, one thing that is still problematic with Google Bard is that it's speed. It takes a lot of time to create something. And if you want it to read out the message, you can click this listen button and it can read it out for you. And um, it, it has a good, sure. I can help you create a motivational LinkedIn post. Here are some tips. Yeah, it can, it can do these things and you have got certain options here. One, you can share and export it to Google docs or draft and Gmail. If it's a table, it will let you to export to Google, uh, Google Excel, uh, Google spreadsheet, but you can also modify the response. You can either make it shorter, longer, simpler, more casual, more professional, but to say, make it shorter. And it's going to take the same post and then it's going to do the exercise to make it shorter. So it made it shorter. So you've got the headline body call to action, but the update that I'm most pleased is the Google lens integration of Google bot. And it is not just a simple OCR. Let me tell you, it's not like it can read. Let me tell you why first go here, click upload file, click upload file. If you're on phone, you can, you have camera as an option. If you're on web, you have to click upload file. Once you click upload file, you can go upload the file that you want. For example, I can go here and click this and then say open. So this is like one of the recent thumbnails that I used for an engineering arts video. Describe this picture. And if I say describe this picture, so it, the file has been uploaded and it is going to try to describe this picture for us. And uh, like I said, speed is my only issue with Google bot. It takes a lot of time, but it has done a really good job. Uh, you can see it says draw, it says engineered arts, which means the OCR is top notch. Everybody who used Google Lens would know that the OCR is top notch. And you can see it, it gives you a bunch of examples. Certain things it didn't do well. It says um, it has a large screen on its chest, which is not true. And um, there are certain information that is not true, but the OCR is good. Now, the reason why I said this is not just OCR, I'm going to upload another file and I'm going to tell you why that is the case. Where was this picture taken from? And it tries to do the reverse image search for you. And then it tries to tell us where this picture was taken. I think this is a very key feature. Typically an LLM cannot offer. So it says the image you sent me is a diagram that shows the process of supervised training policy training. It was taken from a website called papers with code. And um, I mean, I technically um, it came from open AI, but it attempts you to give the source of the image, which is again, a really good aspect, which typically LLMs cannot do. All I have to do is give it and say, describe this. This is the Reddit screenshot where the post name is Langchain is pointless. 
and the way you see i tried this last night the way you see it describes this you it is quite amazing it says it doesn't have experience uh it says the text says lang chain is pointless and that is filled with crap and it does the usual you know i i am a good ai but you can see that it talks about what it happens at times some of the images will not have work fine that's completely fine if i have to go find another image we can upload this and then say explain this picture to me so it's a it's a very simple picture you know it it has got the normal distribution just tell the ai to be nice tell the ai to be nice and then in the middle something is happening so i'm asking google bard to explain this the image you sent to me is a meme is making fun of the idea that ai can be simply told to be nice the text on the image says this and uh, which is complete referent which is a reference to complex technical challenges involved in ensuring ai systems so you can literally upload the meme and then make it explain it and this is the same demo that gpt4 had so you can upload a picture and ask it to explain what is happening and google bard does it really really good even without them bragging about multi modal models it does a pretty good job so now i'm going to upload another picture this is a picture of rlhf reinforcement learning with human feedback this came from an article from open ai and when i upload this picture and ask google bard to summarize it for me it goes to the length to explain everything overall i am super excited about this ocr thing in google bard and uh, i would love to try out other options like tts in the next video if you are interested in knowing